and what happens when autopilot fails and a pilot can no longer see? I sat down with researchers from the Avionics Operator Performance Lab at the University of Iowa to better understand the risk and who it can affect. Here's the story. The University of Iowa Avionics Operating Performance Lab is conducting groundbreaking research. Tonight, we hit the runway to find out more. We're a full service flight test organization, so people who want to test uh, equipment or test certain aspects of pilot behavior can come to us. With a full fleet of helicopters, drones, and fighter jets, OPL is making the skies a safer place. The accelerated inertial systems like aircraft, then our sensory system cannot always determine which way is up and down, and, and that's particularly problematic in degraded visual environments. Not knowing which way is up and down has to do with the fact that you don't see the real world. No airline pilot, no pilot would ever have a question which way is up and down when you can look out the window and you see it. If flying a plane were not scary enough, not being aware of where obstacles or landings may be is even scarier. And that's something I got to experience firsthand. All these senses that are not visual can be fooled by the, the gravitational uh, accelerations that are being generated by the aircraft giving rise to the p possibility that you think up is this way when in fact it's down. But it's not all serious. The coolest thing I've, I've done working here is uh, spending time in the, the back of the jet flying uh, missions where we're working in a virtual environment but with like real entities that are on the ground. Reporting from the Iowa City Municipal Airport in Iowa City, I'm Bradley Martin. Good night.